Hey, my name's Chance, and this is the Git Crash Course. This is how you'll learn how to have a revision history on your code, save those moments in time as you save the, the project, but also being able to collaborate with other developers. And so even if you want to have your project and get to see the, I guess, want to see the progress on how a project is going, Git is also a great way to do that. So if you're sharing a repository, a collection of code with someone else, this is how you would do it, using Git. There are other versions of version history, but this one just seems to be the best. Uh, not, it's not the greatest experience, but it does help accomplish a lot of uh, collaboration um, needs that are out there. So, so with the CSS crash course that I just wrapped up, we're going to use this as a Git repository and make some changes just to see how things work. And then first off, you want to make sure that you have Git installed. And so let's move over to the browser and you'll see that at git-scm.com, you can download the version of Git that you need for your computer. So uh, I have this already set up on my machine. And if you want to stop the video and take the time to do that, I'm going to move forward. So uh, I'm in my terminal and I'm going to cd, which is change directory, into a folder. Uh, if you don't know where you are, you could do ls and see where, where you are and what's inside of the current folder that you're in. And then if you wanted to cd work uh, in progress, that's a folder that I've created where I put all of my repositories, all of my code projects inside of. So I just know that's where everything goes. So uh, Inside of work in progress, we've got our CSS project and I'm starting to type and I'm hitting tab and then that's finishing the folder for me if I know the name of the folder. So that's really helpful. And then I'm going to hit enter and now I'm inside of that folder and I'm not having to click and move around. So uh, basically what I did was I went here to my home folder, scroll all the way down to work in progress, scroll down to CSS crash course and that is where I am currently is in this folder here so let me show you what that looks like ls and I have a assets index.html all right so those two elements in there I need to add git and so I can do git as the command and then init which is initiate the git repository and so if I do git status this will let me know if I have a repository or not and so it says fatal not a git repository uh, so this is where I need to add it so it's looking for this dot git folder which doesn't exist and that's a hidden folder and I'll show you what that looks like so git init and it says initialized empty git repository in user uh, my username and then work in progress CSS crash course with a git uh, hidden folder so let's ls you can see I don't have anything there, but I, I need to do a different list. I need LA, LS, A, and that'll show me all of the hidden folders. So I can go up one folder, and then inside of this current folder, I've got a Git folder, a assets folder, and a index.html. And this is great. So from here, I'm able to start making changes. I've actually got a state saved already. And uh, so first, let's go and do our first commit. I'm going to do git status, and it's going to say, all right, uh, initi initial comment, untracked files, and it's going to list those. So assets, folder, and then index.html are all of the, the items that are untracked, and I need to do a git add to track them. So if I do git add, nothing specified, nothing added, maybe you need to say git add, period. The period means my current directory. Add everything in the current directory, and I could do that. I could do git add period, but also I could specify the specific file that I wanted to add. And so when you're adding, you're taking untracked files and putting it on a stage that you are able to say, this is going to be a moment in time that I want to save. And once you add all of the files of that moment that you want to save, then you can say, okay, I'm ready to give this a name which is a comment and, and giving it some kind of context of what happened when you saved. And then you commit and then that becomes a saved moment in time. So uh, git add, I'm gonna in, add the index and I can do the same thing, I can do in tab and it'll finish that, that file for me. I'm gonna hit enter, I'm gonna do git status so you can kind of see what's going on. Okay, so 
changes to be committed. My new file is the index.html, and that's a new file to the repository because it's the first file being added, and that's the one that's staged. It's the one that's ready to be shown to the audience, ready to, to be committed. And the untracked file is assets. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in assets, and then let's make another change, and you'll see how things roll out. So I'm gonna go and get add. I'm gonna add everything. So I'm gonna do git add period for my entire current directory. I'm gonna do git status again, and I'm gonna clear all this, git status, and you can see now, changes to be committed. These are all the elements in staged, and I can now, um, I can now take these elements and say, all right, let's move forward. So if I do git commit, if I do a tag of m, I can open and close the quotes, and inside of this, the M stands for message. And so this is the message I'm gonna say about this commit. We don't know what's gonna happen if we apply this commit to our code unless we give it a message. We, we, we need some context of what happened. And in this case, it's actually my initial commit. Nothing's really happened, I've just started this project. So we'll do plenty of those. So now um, I'm gonna do git status, and on branch master, nothing to commit, working directory clean. Master is the branch that we're working in and that's really just the the, the beginning state of your code. Uh, let's move forward, we may jump into branches later. So let's open up in Sublime Text our code. You can see we have our index in HTML and we have a couple folders with a CSS file. Let's make a change to our CSS file for the H2 inside of this page. We're going to say the font size is half of what we aimed at there. So 0.5 EM and then save. All right, so we've made a, a change and we could just walk away from the computer, but we haven't committed anything. We're ready, we're, we're happy with this change. Everything looks good. Um, we, we need to move back to the terminal and do a git status and let's see what happened. So now we have a modified file. And this is a file that's been tracked and it needs to be, to be uh, added and staged and saying, okay, are we ready to make this commit? So I'm gonna do in git add and I could do assets. And that's gonna be this entire directory instead of the specific file. I could dive deeper, everything inside of styles, and I can also dive deeper again in the specific file I wanna add. I'm gonna hit enter, I'm gonna do git status again. I actually use the up arrow, and that'll give me my history. So up arrow twice, and then hit enter, and that's, that'll show me that this file is modified, and it's ready to be staged. It's green, and it is uh, changes to be committed. So we're good to go. So, uh, again, I'll do git commit, and now we'll see a real commit. Use your commit messages as a way to show what will happen if you add it. Present tense, not past. And then that way, if we're moving commits around, and I want to take this change A and change J and K, uh, we'll be able to add, take in specific changes and then merge them together if that was going to create something awesome. Uh, but at least to, to at least give it a message and a very clear thing. So you don't want to say uh, updated styles. Not as helpful, uh, but I could add uh, updates, which is present tense, updates, styles, um, h2 is uh, larger because it was originally 16 pixels until it was defined as 1.5 times 16. So H2 is larger, we're gonna hit enter. Great, it is it has been modified. So there's one thing you may encounter. I'm gonna add in um, a global comment up here. So we'll do global, global, and we're gonna see we have another uh, change ready to be committed, and that was that global. You can see in my gutter, I've actually got this cool plugin uh, that I've added to Sublime Text where it says, uh, what's been changed in the file. So this line has a plus and that means it's been added. If I took away everything, you can see it'll have a minus. That means everything's kind of been shrunk. I can do this 
in a few ways. Let's see if I just maybe duplicate this, you'll kind of see what's going on. I'll delete this. You can see that my gutter shows everything that changed in the file, and it's really, really, really helpful. Um, oh, that was cool. That shows that this line has been edited, and now it's been removed. So really neat plugin. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and save what I have here. That's fun. I guess I'll add in my... All right, so from here, we can put in the changes. And you'll run into this. I want to show you this. So I'm going to go ahead and do git add all, which is git add dot, and then um, git status. It should show that all the file, yep, modified and ready to be committed. So I'm good there. Git commit. And if I don't do the dash M and I don't do the quote, it brings me to this. Please enter the commit changes, and this is where you're going to be editing the commit message. And this can be multiple lines if you need it to be. And so, uh, added adds, <laughs> adds uh, style, CSS global comment, and then I can hit enter but it created a new line. Okay, enter again, new line. I could even type in more messages if I want to. But what I really want to do is I want to stop. How do I stop inserting? You can see it says insert at the bottom. So one way to do this uh, is doing colon and, sorry, not colon. You need to hit escape, you're in vim. And to escape the insert mode, you need to hit escape. And then you can hit colon and WQ. WQ stands for write and quit. And so colon opens up that command at the bottom. You can see I've got right here colon. And then WQ stands for write the message that I've put in and then quit it and I'm ready to move forward. So I'm going to hit enter. And then now you can see that the commit message has moved forward. The colon WQ is one thing that uh, tripped me up for a while. So just remember uh, colon or escape W or commit uh, escape colon WQ and that'll get you out of that commit message. Really just the, the idea is that when you do a commit message, just make sure you're giving that M tag and then right in between the quotes you're, you're giving your message, hit enter and you can, you can move on. So uh, I could, this uh, test, I created a commit message here and it's not letting me move forward. So uh, that's because there's nothing added, there's nothing to commit and we're good and clean. So get status, it's gonna say the exact same thing. And that is how you commit your messages. So branches, uh, at least show you this really quick. I only have one branch. If you, if you split off to another branch, I've seen a lot of development have a dev branch or a development branch. And then that's where you might make testing and trials. And when everything's cleaned up and ready to go, you merge that, that that code into your master, which is your live site, your live application, and you never edit the master branch. You always dev off or branch off into a development branch or a feature branch named, if you want to add in a new login feature. So you add, you name the branch new login feature 2017 or however specific you want to get. And you, that new login feature branch is going to be developed until it's ready to be merged in. So what you do is you create that new branch, you edit code days and days even, and then you finally merge it in when it's complete. Uh, so best practice is to do git um, checkout. I'm going to do a tag of B for a new branch, and then I'm going to do dev. And so not only has it created a new branch, but I've also switched to that branch. So let me show you what that looks like. Git branch. Awesome. And so one really cool thing is about branches. If I delete that H2 and I want to um, see git status and git add, do git commit, removes, h2 from styles so present tense great so enter and then now if i git checkout master branch master i'm going to switch to the master and if you see i'm going to click over here i'm going to go back to a version of code that hasn't been edited yet because of my branch my development branch my dev branch has been edited but my master hasn't and that's because i haven't merged in my dev branch into my master yet 
now you can see h2 is back and I'll switch back we'll do git checkout dev and I'll go into code so I've got two versions it's really nice to be able to divide off and kind of figure out where where things need to be and and how you can progress without editing clean code until you're ready uh, so this is awesome about git love this and so now if I do maybe an h3 uh, we'll add in color of red and then I'm going to um, actually I'm going to cut this and get status nothing to move so get checkout master my finger doesn't want to type that I'm going to switch in here and I'm going to add in um, this h3 I'm going to git uh, add git commit message adds h3 color and then git checkout checkout uh, dev yeah not a not a branch dev and clean this out all right so now I am on my dev branch and if I do git uh, well, let's jump in here. What do we have? I'm going to delete the H1, kind of really muddy things up a little bit. And we'll add one more. I'm going to add an H4 of blue. All right, so things are pretty different. And how do I merge things in and what happens? Uh, I've, I've got some code that's going to go away and some code that's going to stay. And so uh, there's going to be, I am imagine there's going to be some conflicts. So let's see how that turns out. So git status, I've got CSS, we're gonna go and git add all, git add commit m um, adds uh, h4 color removes h1. All right, so let's git checkout master and I'm gonna merge in all the changes from the dev branch git dev git merge dev so I'm going to take from my current directory which I'm in master um, we'll even do that uh, branch shows me my current branch and then git merge dev I'm going to merge dev into master and auto merging conflict merge conflict in assets of style CSS Sometimes I don't see a full list of all the files that were affected. Sometimes maybe it gets lengthy. So one thing I can do is get status. What's going on? Okay, there was a modified file, and that's because it's a conflict. You can see I've got a head, and I've got this, this equals, and I've got this dev area, and we're trying to figure out what stays and what goes. And that's where it's really up to you and trying to figure out where things are going to go. So I think I want to keep the H4. I'm going to delete this this conflict and I did actually want to delete the h1 that I deleted from the code uh, of the dev branch and so now I'm back to where I need to be things are cleaner and I can go look at my my app or my website and see where I'm left off and so now I have a uh, oh, you just saw me do it uh, GS is get status I made an alias in my terminal so I don't have to start type in get status every time I can just do get status and then I can do um, git add which is git add all and then git commit which is uh, gc and I've already given it the m tag so all I have to do here is it's an alias anyways it, they're, they're time savers git commit m and uh, fix uh, dev uh, master merge push and yeah we'll get to that in another video so this is uh, using git repositories the primary part is just learning how to do git commits and and pushing it where it needs to go all right hope that helps bye guys